Just Isolation Part 2. Hello all my beautiful subscribers! Guys, we are back with Chest Isolations. Last time we did the Chest Isolation side, side, forward, back and circles. If you haven't done it, you better go and watch it again because today is part two. We're going to do some more interesting isolations. Hopefully that will help you with your bachata, with your salsa, reggaeton, all kinds of dancing and this is both for men and women. So whoever you are, You'll benefit from this. Now, don't wait any longer. Subscribe to my channel and let's do this. Okay, so the isolation that we're going to learn today is an angled one side to side. So if you've done the first part one video with me, you will find this, I think, easy. If you haven't done it, give it a go, see where it takes you. So now, what we want is to have for now legs apart and um, when you're dancing salsa or bachata, you're going to adapt it to the footwork of the style that you dance. But for now, we want to focus on really learning the technique and feeling the isolation. So we're going to have legs apart and we want to make sure the downstairs booty and the legs are tight. If your booty and legs are tight, then you can move this part of the area which is responsible for your top without everything else moving as well, right? So we want to isolate. So everything underneath is going to be tight and now we're going to be moving our chest. The chest is going to go side to side, but we're going to actually use the help of the upper body of your chest right here in an angle, including the shoulder, to actually stretch not only sideways, but also a little bit up and just a little bit back. So I will go side, up and a little bit back, yes? But we're gonna melt it together. So it will be here and then to the other side. Now, super important when you do so, keep your hands by your side and as I do my first preparation first, I'm gonna slightly relax my core, just a little bit inwards here. I dip a little bit because then I can stretch it out a little bit more. Now, when I want to go to the other side, again, I slightly dip in order to stretch it out to the other side. Now, look what happens if I don't dip. If I stay like this and I go, it loses that little bit of a preparation that makes it look bigger and juicier, right? So, we dip. We dip and stretch. We dip and stretch. My arms are here, they're going where the shoulder is taking us and whatever happens, try not to raise just the shoulder. Make sure when you use the shoulder, it locks that chest part so you get actually a little stretch in an angle way. So you have side and upward stretch, right? It's not just the shoulder, it takes your body and lower part super strong. So I showed a couple of times, we have and, one, and, two, and, three, and four. Let me show you from here. Doesn't matter which side you start really. So you have preparation and one and two and three and four. So you got that stretch, shoulder, all of it squeezing. Now once you actually got the isolation and you feel like okay I practice, I think I know what she's trying to tell me, <laughs> great. Now we can do a different rhythm. The rhythm that is actually really really uh, famous in reggaeton and in general we use these rhythms in other things as well and that is single single double double. That will also not only work on your isolation, it will work on your coordination and also timing. So we're gonna do single single double double, same technique, same thing. You have single, single, and now double, 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 two on the same side, then you start on the other side, single, single, double, double. So now it's all about coordinating and making sure you get those numbers right. So you have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And if you work your core, if you use it right, you will feel a little bit of it, yes? So now let me show you from the, bit, from the back as well. You have single, single, double, double, single, single, double, double. And when you do so, try not to lose the technique. It is super fun exercise to try. 
Okay, now I'm going to blow your mind. This is a tricky one. We're going to start doing circles. And that circle has to remain with the shoulder stretch, okay? So, bear with me. We're going to change directions as well. It's going to be a little bit tricky, but I'm sure we can do it. So now, once we're here, we're going to start with our first stretch back. As I do my first stretch back, I'm actually going to now push my chest forward and bring it back with my other stretch. And again, I'm going to push it out and stretch, push it out and stretch. So if you notice now, as I do my stretch, I'm not just leaving my shoulder and coming back. I'm thinking now about the circle. So I'm stretching it in an angled way, but my chest is forward, so I use that momentum to go to the other direction. As I go to the other direction, my other shoulder comes up, but now my chest is going back. So I have constantly that angle stretch, including my shoulders as I'm doing my circles. Now, we all have our good side and bad side, as I like to say, or slightly dodgy. So, mine is the other one, but I will try and do it as well. So, as we go now here in a stretch, the chest is going to go to the other direction and go back, to the other direction and go back. And because of the shoulders, we have a forward angled situation. Does that make sense? Rather, as we did in the part one, it was all straight line. Now, because of the shoulder health and the angle situation that we practice, now we are able to do it in opposite directions with a little bit of an angle. Whew! You'll find one side is better than another. So I'll show you from here. First, I'm going to start with my bad side, the dodgy side, and I'm going to start from the left. So as I'm here, I'm doing my stretch first, and then I push the chest and I push it again, and I push it again. As I relax my shoulders, they're coming up and down, creating an angular circular motion. Then I'm gonna prepare to the right, so I'm gonna push my chest out, start taking it forward and backwards, and forward and backwards, and constantly stretching sideways in order to create that kind of effect. Practice, my darlings, and let me know in the comments how you're doing. Guys, make sure you leave a comment for me if you found it useful. Otherwise, please make sure you check out the part one chest isolation, which is going to be just here for you to press, and also other body movement video as well. Keep on practicing on your body, and then I promise you, bachata and salsa and any other dance is going to be so much easier for you. Now, subscribe, and I say adios for now.